Greetings everyone, Sir Morgan here from the Technical Department. From the topic Isometric Projection, you will draw your 12th isometric exercise today to the dimensions now shown on your right. First, you will draw a horizontal baseline and also an isometric rectangle to the given dimensions. Now measure and identify 20 millimeters from this intersection on this line. Now draw a vertical line from this point in this direction. Measure and identify 20 millimeters from this intersection on this line. Now from this point you identified, draw a horizontal line using your set square and your t-square in this direction. Also draw a horizontal line from this intersection in this direction. Now measure and identify 40 millimeters from this intersection on this line. Now draw a horizontal line from this point in this direction. Measure and identify 20 millimeters from this intersection on this line. Now draw a horizontal line from this intersection in this direction and also from this intersection in this direction. Now draw vertical lines from this intersection and also this intersection in this direction. If this line wasn't originally there for you, you need to also draw a vertical line from this point too. Now draw a horizontal line from this intersection in this direction. This line should intersect if you are drawing accurately at this point. Now draw your final line from this intersection in this direction. If all you are doing is accurate, this line will intersect perfectly at this intersection. Now go ahead and outline your required isometric projection. Excellent! It was not so hard at all. Now you realize that by just drawing an isometric rectangle, you can easily draw more complex shapes. Now go ahead, border your paper and complete your title.